Hello. Today we take a look at three decks, all from Snap Judgments. And please keep in mind, uh, I was going a little bit crazy with Cersei in some of these decks. So my net cubes, my win rate, not amazing. So I'm going to cut out a few of the losses. I'll keep some in because it's what I do. Um, but I'll upload the full VOD uh, and put it up later this week so that you guys can watch that if you want to see all the games. But really, I just, I just, I was here for the RNG. The decks I cover are Sizer's Bounce deck, which I think is probably pretty good. My draw luck was really bad with it, though. And then Nerf Herder's Mean Green deck is really good, but this is where I really went Cersei crazy. My win rate was terrible. My hits with Cersei were really bad, and I kind of just played it like a jerk a little bit. So keep that in mind when you're playing this. It's a good deck. You just have to make intelligent plays if you want to win cubes. So enjoy yourselves. Thanks for giving me a shot today. And again, later this week, maybe on Tuesday, I'll just upload the full VOD in case you want to see all of the losses. I had a lot of fun on stream this week. Maybe you'll enjoy the banter as opposed to the gameplay. I would say the banter is at least a little bit better than the gameplay. <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Again, thank you. Sin Possible. Welcome to the video slash live stream. Also, welcome to all of you. Today, we are playing three Snap Judgments decks. And uh, keep in mind that I do not practice them ahead of time. I, I don't consider myself to be amazing at Marvel Snap. But I like to see, you know, if the average person, which I guess I'm deciding is me, uh, gives this deck a, sh a shot, how's it going to go for him? <sighs> Making intelligent decisions-ish. We're going to want to be able to Shadow King left, probably. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. Shadow King is going to be a, a helpful fella. So. Mm-hmm. All right, Carnage, let's go. It's got to be Carnage. What else could it be? Oh, my gosh. Got our say, dude. <laughs> that sucks. Namor. I think they win that one. What's up, Mr. James? Welcome. I don't I don't feel like I win the 50-50s very often in this game. I screwed this up already. I'm very sorry. So we're going to pick up one, two cards. All right, this is fine. We'll have a couple demons we could play out, and that's good for us. I'm Nikoing the hood for sure. This gives us options for next turn as well. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we go Squatch right. We go Demon right. It's a huge bummer. Because I'm not going to be able to do the things that I wanted to do that I thought would be the things that would win the game. It's a, this is a, a, a weird one. This is a tricky one. I feel like we have a pretty good hold on right. But, also, do you call... I'm really bad at this. I'm very sorry. Is your name Jesse James? Or do you say Jeez James? All right, so like the most unexpected play. 
It's both and more. <laughs> it's always pronounced correctly is good intel to have. So I just feel like Shadow King and that'll bring Nocturne up. That is five, six, seven, twelve, nineteen left. And that that wins as long as they don't soak too much. And then I guess we just do this, this. Hope that we don't get a terrible location in the right location. Mr. James, enjoy your lurk. Oh my gosh. Dude, we have been messed over by Panopticron twice in this stream. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely awful. <laughs> oh, and if we got a little bit better of a card other than Namor. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not that bothered. It's okay. But they did kill our Sage very quickly. Do you think Snap is making enough money uh, they'll keep supporting it for multiple years? Uh, so, I think a lot of people uh, would have a, an answer that might be correct uh, or might be incorrect. Here's mine. I don't... I have no idea. Um, I know that they are making a good amount of money. What I don't know are, uh, is anything about where the money needs to go, I guess. Um... What are the costs that you have to deal with in a game like this? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not a game developer. I know that I have given them a skosh of money, perhaps, possibly, uh, maybe. But I, I think that I don't think that Snap is going to die out quickly if that is something you're concerned about. Um, I hope that makes sense. I think they've made 12. Dollars a wait. Twelve dollars a month. Um, that doesn't seem like enough to to keep it going. So if they've only made twelve dollars so far, um, the answer is they are very. They're gonna shut down so fast. Uh, I can say that with certainty. My guess is it was supposed to be twelve million. I think it is twelve million. Um. Okay, all right. All right. Sorry, the, the the lack of an M in there broke my mind, and um, I resorted to freaking out a little bit. <laughs> okay, we got to be a little bit careful here. Um, so we're going to Falcone. Nico. Falcone, Kitty, Nico, and we just played one, two, three cards, so Sasquatch will be cheap next turn. Jeff Hogan was talking about it in one of his recent YouTube deck highlights. Yeah, so, I and I saw that one, um, I saw that video. Oof. That's, that's not good for us. That's not good for us at all. <clears throat> Um, and yeah, in that, in that video, it, it was comparing Snap to a bunch of other games, uh, that are out. So their mid is full. We do a bit of this. And we just, we chucked this left just for fun. Uh, in the video, it, it seemed like they were definitely kicking some tail uh, with this game. Like, compared to everything else that was going on, it feels like there's almost no concerns, so. 
Like they were seven million dollars ahead. Oh, Mysterio's in this deck. I had no idea. Boop. 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 And just a boop over there just to be safe. I don't see how they could win. But I also don't know anything, so. I do kind of miss my hit monkey in here though. Hit monkey can get some freaking work done. Look at that, man. That was a good one. Victory. And a six power kitty. We didn't even have like Elsa. Heck yeah. Let's keep it going. I wish that's how the video started instead. But those types of decks are pretty easy to read. Like, I, you knew where that one was going pretty fast, right? Probably also because of weekend missions. Uh, Tucker, if you're still here, how often did you end up using the claw? Ew. Gross. The claw? Claw. Uh-oh, don't point at me. R2D2 underscore. <sighs> I mean we have we have the play. I don't I don't think it's optimal. And I'm assuming they're just playing Loki. <clears throat> so that was what Glazer said. Is that if you can get Sage out. That that's a good choice. Get Sage out early. Beast it back to your hand. All right, so they either got Squatch or Claw. Just sounds gross. And then I think our play for mid should just be Sage. And then that's one, two, three. Four cards. So depending on what they do, we can drop either Sasquatch, Nocturne, and Kitty final turn, or we could just drop Claw. Claw left. All right, they did not get our Claw. It all depends on where they decide to play. It's a closer game left, though. Whoo! Victory! All right, R two D two. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if I made the right call, but I feel like the Red Hulk nerf that doesn't actually feel like a huge nerf. I feel like that would have uh, that would have beaten it for sure. I think. What was it up to? 16 or 19? If it was at 16, we're good. If it's 19, I think we lose by like two. It's just a rough 50-50. Right, I like that Nico power though.
so far I've got no complaints about this deck. Except for two Falcons. Two Falcons is a little over the top. Um, I also don't, I don't think that Nico gets buffed if I pick Nico up right now with Falcon. Education! Nay. It did the animation though. That's a little, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Cool. We don't have Beast. Sinless, good morning. New layout indeed. I, I've had this in my Discord DMs from BitTwiddle for a while. And... I don't know. Anyone who's joined the, the Discord that I made will find out eventually that, boy, do I suck at responding to things on Discord. Um, I really... I don't like a lot of these different things. Oh yeah, exclamation point Discord. If you'd like to join, feel free. I know I sold it really well just then. Um, so enjoy yourselves. We're gonna probably want to Shadow King mid. Wait, what the what the what are you doing? Boop, boop, skadoosh. Woo! It's against my own wishes. A Discord was created for me. I'm I'm happy with it though. It's all good. Bonkerton put in a lot of work, so I think it, it looks nice. It's getting automated-ish. It's great. I don't know how to do anything with Discord. Alright, Nocturne cannot move into Mini Lab. That's what the cool people call it. Um, so I think we'll just we'll just have some fun. Add some power mid. Add some power. Right. <laughs> like there's uh, there's literally nothing. It doesn't matter what I do right now. Um, you know, let's just add power to the hood so that we have a demon we can play, and then we won't feel so bad about it. We'll just end it there. See what happens mid. Bar with no name is such a good hit. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't... I've never actually had a Nocturne change help me before. So we're going to save Shadow King and not play it. Uh, we will go... Kitty, we will win. We just win. It was a bit of a boomer snap, but uh, it all worked out fine in the end. Oh, is untapped tracking games right now? You might call it a nocturne of luck. The That was quite a nocturne of events, indeed. Yes, Mr. Iso. <laughs> thank, first time chatter, thank you. I appreciate the dad joke. Butters. Oh, we got Beast. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, we will get rid of Death's Domain. Uh, a thing that uh, Mr. Yo Woody MJ said was that if you get Nico early and it's the location change. Uh, wow. The location change ability. Just go for it. Because more often than not, you're going to want to change at least one location. Now, will it give us something worse? Very possibly. But we don't know. We don't know until we try. That's not great. I guess it depends what's in the right location. Hmm. All right, we are in this situation once again where we can play Sage. and then bounce it back into our hand. That's great. That's really, really good. I 
think... Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's better than a freaking Doom. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. I feel like I don't need to play another card for the entire game and we could still win. Like, there's, I don't need to play Hood. I'm just going to take this one easy. Holy cow. 36 power from a 2 cost. That's so freaking good. All right. Uh, and so they can move their Nocturne again. Which is fine. I didn't bury the lead very well there. Okay, so there's a 2 cost mid... Like, I'm not super worried about anything right now. If I do this, it's a little bit better. And then we can drop Nico left. Oh, man. So we're going to solely rely on the 12 power Mysterio to win us the right location. Which I think is very appropriate. I missed how that transpired. Did you plop a Sage down in the location that adds your power to the top card of your deck? That's exactly what freaking happened, and it feels really good. All right, um, we will go, say, uh, sorry, Mysterio right, Sage, mid and then we just we drop a squirrel I assume they move their nocturne and the mysterio on the left is going to be 10 power ooh interesting we might lose this one That kind of stinks. This was going really well. That's such a bummer. That was such a good one. I mean, and there's no, yeah, right. Nocturne giveth the Nocturne taketh away. All right. Also with Hoagland's Mean Clog, we won three games and lost eight. And we ended with negative 18 cubes. <laughs> oh, dude. It was a it was a rough nocturne. Krakoa, there you are again. You can't you won't hurt us twice in a row though, right? No way. You're only a kind card. Blue Raptor Wolf. It's a lot of different things. Uh, thank you for the follow four minutes ago. Apologies for missing that. Ken5559. Five, 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 thank you. Also, for the follow. This minute. Do, 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 do. I kind of feel like Nocturne is a good enough uh, card to throw into Krakoa. I mean, Sage Wright could be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I mean, it, it is definitely a rough nocturne, but worse things have definitely happened in my life. Let's let's go. Something good. That's that's good enough for me. So we will go Sage Kit uh Kitty. Kitty, where are you? Sage order. Order. We will go Kitty Sage right. And then we will beast it back into our hand. We're gonna pick up a lot of Garbo on the way. That's okay. MTL, what's up? Welcome. We tried the move deck with Prof that Glazer showed yesterday. I have not tried it yet. Um, I ran it through untapped and it did not have stats that I would say were super stellar. We 
got to be careful here. And I'm not saying it's a bad deck. Um, just the the way that I approached doing this, I needed to see a few more a few more stats and numbers to make it justifiable for me to play it. Did you give it a shot? It it, it appears so. All right, so we're gonna pick up. Our hand is gonna be full. It was a, it's a super small sample size. I looked at that deck and I was pretty excited about the idea of it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's all it's all low sample size right now, so I can't do a ton about it. Profits of move card is crazy. I think so. I agree. Battery. Thank you for the follow. All right. Um, I feel I feel really good about this. <laughs> Small sample size is my nickname in high school. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, okay, easy wins. I don't see many. I feel like that's as good as I can get. Dude, a Dark Hawk? Ah. Oh. Alright, this could be awful. Oh my goodness, Grace. Come on, give give them something bad. No, they need something bad. Never mind. I was afraid for no reason. Mixed results, but I definitely won some games they weren't expecting. Cube equity. You know, and I feel like that's kind of how Cersei is working right now. <laughs> like, that was that was really good. Um, again, if I could start with that game, woof, that would be awesome. I was at 7,400 snap points when I started. Uh, not going to read that name. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, double Mockingbird. That's awesome. All right. Well, that last deck was a bit of a disaster. So let's give a uh, kid named Julian's Zoo deck a shot. Uh, this is this is gonna be fun. MTL, what's your summer like, or what's your summer look like as a teacher? So it's gonna be good. Um, in 18 hours, I will wake up and we are driving from where I live now up to Michigan, and it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Uh, oh, that's so good for the Mockingbirds, thank you. I mean, it's not good for anything else, but it's the equivalent of a, you know, maybe 18 power. Well, I guess 15 power, perhaps. Oh gosh, these locations are fine because we can get rid of them. Uh, and I guess we'll just do it this way. Give them a Nico. Get rid of Thunderbolt's Tower. Then we will have... Mockingbirds that cost two. That's pretty good. I can't complain about that one too much. So we're going to go up to Michigan. We're going to stay there for a couple of weeks. Uh, and then we're going to come back to New Mexico. And when we come back to New Mexico, uh, we are moving very soon after that. Not Zemo. Dude, I just dealt with Zemo. Come on. Oh my crap. Alright, so we focus on the left two lanes, I guess. <laughs> my goodness. Yep, 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 yep. That's Newman luck right there. That's how that's how this all goes, you know? Um, but I've I've streamed like four times over the last week and this is like this is just a ton of freaking fun um it's so much nicer than just doing youtube videos like that's so not it's not enjoyable in the same way at all
Okay. Uh, I'm so nervous about what the right play is here. And maybe we find out that Gilgamesh isn't the right play, you know? But I feel like they have ways of making us talk. Shauna is probably the best hit, but we didn't get it. Do I have other wins? Like, I mean, this is just this is just a sad board state, honestly. <clears throat> How many one drops do I have? But I mean, I'll give it a I'll give it a shot, but there's no real way of winning left. Right? Like Oh, maybe there is. I take that back. We lose left by one. I've never... Like, there are some location... Like, that was just... That was a horrendous set of locations. Oh, my gosh. I don't even... I don't even know what to say about that one. I should have retreated, but... I... Didn't want to. Which is basically how that goes all the time. Uh, yeah, Gilgamesh Center, and we would have won. White Tiger is an interesting play, though. Okay. Ant-Man into Jeff. I could see I could see this one. I could see the matrix on this one. Uh, World ship uh, coming in at the third location though. Calling it ahead of time. Or it's just a destroy deck. And everything we do doesn't matter. <laughs> they got Deadpool. It's all good. Oh. Thoughts on the OTA Dragon Patrol? Um, I'm good with it. I'll I'll expand on that in 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 one moment. Expand, expound, whatever. So it looks like a Cerebro two, but then they played a Jeff, and so it's not that. Oh my gosh! Kind of looks like we're both about to get. Plus three max energy. I mean, I smirked at a variety of different things that people said during that stream. It was it it was such a freaking power trip to be able or to to know the types of things that were coming um, and not be able to say anything. So we can win left with Gilgamesh if we can get other cards that are useful pretty quickly. I mean, we're doing, we're making a dumb move here, okay? Part of the Cool Kids Club. Yeah, I've never been there before, but it, it sounds nice, you know? Mobius into Cersei is quite a freaking play. Probably not what they wanted to have happen. Um, new plan. They have to top deck their win. All right, Sorcerer twenty twelve four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> uh, sorry, YouTube, for the weird cut. We stopped and talked about the OTA for a while. It was a good time. I, it'll probably be in a VOD later this week, but yeah, that's how it goes. You taking off? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't love playing Squirrel Girl immediately. 
Squirrel Girl feels like a really good final turn play, but uh, here we are. That's a really good Nico hit, though. Yeah, I, I should have, um, and I'll be punished right now. No, okay. Never punished. Ish. This one feels a little too good right now. Oh, no, they got Killmonger. Oh, no. The deck I've been having the most fun and success with is Blink Knight. I have not mastered that, but it looked really fun. Negative Surfer? Yo! It has been a minute. We'll do this. Yeah, Negative Surfer should not have Killmonger. Red Guardian. All systems go. Red Guardian. Red Guardian. Red Guardian. Red Guardian into Shauna, into a possible victory. Here we go. Oh, snap. I will boomer snap them. It feels so bad. Never punished. Oh. Oh, that just feels bad, man. Victory. They they worked. They worked so much harder than me. And they drew Mr. Negative by turn four. They did it. Right, we just needed to talk about that. I had to get something off my chest, apparently. You know, that's what we needed to get back on track. Excellent. Just yeah, let's just get right back into it. And I've, I've tried to figure out other people's thoughts on the OTA. Gnome, what's up? Hey, if you guys want to watch someone win games of Marvel Snap, go follow Gnome underscore underscore plays. All right. Uh, did we learn our lesson last time? Absolutely freaking not. Yes, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait on Squirrel Girl. Uh... Yeah, Gnome, welcome. Thank you. Gnome, you said you had a presentation this week, right? Presentation or homework assignment? I feel like it was a bigger deal, but I don't know. All right. Man, everyone's playing Surfer. Hey, that's pretty good for us. You had an exam yesterday. See, I pay attention sometimes. Um... You know, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> yeah, how'd it go? Are you enjoying the lack of monstrosities in Marvel Snap right now? Or is there a new monster that is ruining everyone's fun, including yours? Man, I hate the decision making on this turn. Dude, the finale of the Snap Rentist was fantastic. I did not win, I made second place. Um. Lauren whatevs took the whole thing home. So we'll go Shauna. We'll hit a Bast and we'll regret our life choices. I am Iron Man. That's my guess. Shauna is just scary. Oh, we filled up mid. But we we have Nocturne. We can do whatever. Um I just don't want Bast. Oh, another squirrel girl. That's so exciting. Taking aim. You Sammy, you did win for a second. Uh, Devilish made a really unkind play. Wow. Um. Yeah, Shauna No Squirrels uh, would have been a great call, probably. Are they going to double Iron Man mid? I don't think they will. Ooh, it's definitely a card. 
or uh, definitely a card, definitely a location. We can win left, possibly. The Red Guardian, Mockingbird. Ways that they win include Surfer. Hmm. Yes, I agree. I also find this quite scary. Yeah. But I uh, know I ended up beating Tucker in my 1v1 against him uh, with the Pixie Thor's deck. It was great. We get no value. Oh, we do get Nova value, but then we lose every other card on the board. So in the end, uh, does it even out? Perhaps. Uh, William Wilson and Mr. Cherry, thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. He's in the Woodyverse. All right, I got you. I'm still trying to figure out where everyone's from. I'm I'm learning more, but um, oh no, guys, do they have prof? Uh oh. I'm learning more, but I, I just don't know everyone yet. I know. Woody's doing pretty well. Oh boy. Nocturne. Easy call. Now, we're going to make intelligent plays. I think. We're going to make intelligent plays. And we're going to do a little bit of this. And we're going to do a little bit of a, a Kazar. Oh, no. I am Iron Man. Opponent snapped. Feel free. They have priority, though. How does this happen? I cannot catch a freaking break. Uh, junk. I mean, they look like they're running a negative deck anyway, right? Yeah, I think, I think we do something along the lines of this into this. Peak really screwed me on that one. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, the Shauna nerf. I mean, it's a 50-50 to smack an important card. I mean, one of them is more impactful than the others, and I'm willing to just go for it. Uh, what would be better? Oh! Victory. Yeah, they can't Jeff mid. That's a good point. Okay. All right. I think we would have had that one. Just gotta... Just gotta believe. Yeah, I mean, Cerebro, I guess, is a is an important part of getting power all across the board, and Iron Man just wins them a lane. So, not bad. Not too bad at all. I'm good with that one. So, fetch isn't sus. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Bwatsky80, thank you for the follow. And Nodweb, thank you uh, for the follow as well. I remember that you were here and you stuck here through ads. Appreciate it. I don't think we're going to get Thanos out this game. That's how it goes. Uh, Gnome, are you streaming later today? Ooh. Dark Cloud 9. <laughs> That's a great name. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I'm just saying your name. You're welcome. Maybe tonight. 
All right. All good. We don't have a way. Well, we do. Do I dare play Shauna right now? Yeah. Who dares wins? And who plays Shauna early gets a zero. Oh. All right, well, the extra draw doesn't help very much. <laughs> I mean, they didn't get extra draw. That's good for us. Uh, we'll do this, I think. Oh, I wish there was a way to Red Guardian their good stuff, but I'm not seeing one right now. District X is basically what I'm playing with right now anyway. Does not matter. Does not matter to me. Nimrod. All right, they have priority. For surety. Kitty? Um... Oof. Do we, I mean, no, they just win, right? There's no, we have no win. They probably flip flop multiple men and then Zola the Nimrod. They, they high rolled on that one. That's pretty good for them. Nice job. I like that one. I do, whoever brought up, um, well, I guess you didn't technically bring up Phoenix Force, but that's how, that's how Phoenix Force can go. So. Game tonight. No, I can't miss getting swept. Got to run again. Have a great weekend. Nine scratches. Appreciate it. You as well. Enjoy it. Or move the malts to the right, then venom, right? Get a big venom. Big null. Yeah, they were doing pretty well, I think. Alright, I mean, I think we can win a, a location with just, like, Ant-Man Dazzler as the big things, so... I'm gonna give it a shot. Gnome, what what tournament are you in? What are you doing? Junk. Oh, Oilers game, okay. You're in the Stanley Cup, Gnome, that's so exciting. Well done, you made it. Okay, Squirrel Girl. All right, so this is just gonna be a straightforward Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we we don't even attempt to win right. <laughs> uh, all right, how do we fill up locations? With cards, I know. We go here. And then we will... Is this flexible enough? I think so. We go Squirrel Gilg. I mean, that's a big squirrel even in the US agent lane, so I did it all me. Put the team on my back. I believe that. 100%. No lies. Well done, Gnome. You did it. Uh, intriguing deck. I guess they could move the Jeff and just instantly gain 5 power on the Red Hulk, and that's probably what they'll do. Ok. 
Come on, make your play. Make your move. Let's go. Oh, never mind. I don't think that matters in the long run. It's not the route I was I was taking for a win here, so. Oopsie poopsie. 17 power Gilgamesh with pretty Victory. minimal work. That was not bad. Against the king of bros. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> Peace, Obi. Enjoy your day. Uh, we are definitely going to hang on to Titania. Is that an annoying card to put into the Nebula lane, perhaps? I did just realize I probably wanted to play Nebula mid. <sighs> Oops. King of Bros can't lay anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to risk it. Could be a bad idea. <clears throat> but he's so behind at this point. So their left lane is going to be completely filled up. Titania jump. Uh, that is the best gob variant. I like it. I think it's pretty awesome. That's a nice one. I mean, I think now we have to get rid of our rocks. We're not really in a rush to win left, I don't think. And we can find out if they have a red hulk. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think the goblin variant's pretty nice. Squatch. I mean, do we just go full butthead? Everyone's favorite two variants, mine's Mecha Dino and Vibranium Iron Man. <clears throat> I don't know if this one works out. We win right. <laughs> that's uh that's about it i just i like the rng from cersei and i'm not gonna complain it's gonna be fine we've got this in the bag for sure Minions to me. oh my crap we almost lost right Look at their luck versus my luck. They got an Orca. We lost by one again. That is the theme of today. <clears throat> oh, well, it's okay. Um, My favorite variants, it's the, what is it? Conqueror Carnage. I have that one inked. It's my only like real stellar split. Like it's, it's basically perfect. Um, uh oh. Flat Bedford. Flat, get out of here. No stream sniping. Please and thank you. Uh, I also really. Uh, we'll go for it. 
Uh, I really enjoy most of the Doom variants as well. So I guess that's a pretty wide open answer, but I love them. Muir Island. This could be interesting. Okay. That doesn't hurt my feelings too bad. Another Muir Island is really, really good. Uh, this could just be a great time for Green Goblin. And then if Goblin does not get sent over for some reason. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Cool. Uh, I was going to say we could just annihilate it, but it does not matter. Captain Marvel and Goose. love to make a goblin that I can send over to them. No, it didn't happen. That's all right. Oh, a Morbius. Well then, isn't that a card? Um, okay. What to do? This board state is such a mess. So I bet they move Titania to the left. So we're not getting that back. We just gave them seven power. Um, Mysterio left. Eh, you know what? Nebula left. Here, here, hope and pray. Cersei mid? Okay. GG. I, I don't know what just happened. Cersei helped us, finally. Uh, Dead by Daylight is one of my favorite things to play. Um, I just bought Mario Wonder to play with my son, and he doesn't like it. I think it's pretty fun, um, but he made me restart uh, Super Mario RPG. Uh, and it is so, that's a very, very good game. And I didn't, I didn't realize, like, I didn't play it growing up. It's so good. It's so much fun. I'm a big nerd for RPGs, so Mario RPG is very well done. It hit Gobby, so we're probably not going to get to play that this game. Even like Nintendo, it still resonates. I'm kind of in a similar boat. I'm not a huge Nintendo like fan. But I think it's I think that Mario RPG, you know, along with the Ooh, interesting. I think Annihilus would be really good. Uh along with the fact that it was created by Square before it was Squaresoft, the guys who made Final Fantasy. 
Um, I think that I think it's really good. Okay, Annihilus is required for us to have a shot here. I mean, we could bail out if we... No! Spider ham, you little turd. Uh, if your son likes pocket monsters, like... Uh, pocket monsters like games, I recommend Monster Hunter Stories 1 and 2 and Wings of Ruin. Oh, sorry. Two Wings of Ruin. I've, I, I've played Monster Hunter games before. And I found those to be... Um, Hot take right there, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, here and here. Dang, man, here. Guess we don't play Nebula right now. So, Titania is not going to flip-flop until... Okay, so... Wait, what? Hold on. So, it'll flip and then flip back. So, if we just play a card mid, we get it. No Annihilus is a huge bummer. That doesn't beat a Red Hulk. Other options? No. I don't want to keep retreating. That's so boring. Oh, I'm not doing this if you're snapping, you fool. Gladiator is my favorite character. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters, uh, despite the obvious, hey, it's Superman, but kind of JK sort of vibe. I I know nothing about Gladiator. I, I enjoy the Marvel movies, but I never got into comics growing up. I never really had the money to buy a bunch of stuff. So, uh, Final Fantasy Tactic. Uh, <laughs> I think my brain is done uh, streaming for the day, at least. Final Fantasy Tactics is absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's a remake of Tactics? Good. It's so much fun. It's such a good game. Oh. GG. <laughs> I... Alright. <laughs> uh, that'll be the first game of this video. GG, GG. Man, what on earth? I wonder how often, like, or how much time people that are good, like the big con, I wonder how many times or how many hours or games big content creators spend practicing a deck. Like how much time does KM spend practicing a deck before he's like, I'm gonna feature this in a video. Does he just freaking go for it? Do we go Titania Chaos? No. No, probably a terrible call. I enjoy nothing about what's about to happen. I will do this. Gobby would be good. White Widow would be good. There's a lot of good ones we could get. My favorite Final Fantasy was 15, the first one to make me cry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Gladiator, he's an alien from space who could fly, use lasers from his eyes. <laughs> he's super strong, can clap his hands. Uh, is he allergic to vibranium? Oh, we'll, we'll definitely go for Cersei Chaos. Buff Captain America, please. First time chatter. Oh, booyah!
Oh, it's just discard everyone, don't worry. Less than you'd think. <laughs> okay. Alright, bad things that could happen right now. Nothing. Everything's great. Cersei will win us the day. Isn't Gladiator's power based off his confidence or something like that? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> based off his confidence level. Oof. All right. This is going to be an interesting one. I think we hedge our bets. Oh, gosh. I mean, the, the main hits that I want are going to be mid and right. So I think we do this. Or do we just go Cersei now and accept that we could lose the game? We could lose the game no matter what. Could save the demon. Or do we just open it up to... No, I gotta do it this way. I... it... I can't see what they have in their hand because it sped through it. This way we hit mid, even though mid isn't completely full. They do not care about the nebula that's in the left location at all. Hobgob. Give me one more of those, please. A Jane Foster. Victory. I wanted to look at this filter quickly. Oh, it tracks my most recent session playing Snap. All right, so far today we are minus 28 cubes. Woof! Kicking some butt. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, you're a freaking champ. That was a lot of losses. Oops. Uh, but if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make good choices. Remember, you're gonna have a great day whether you know it or not. And as always, peace.